Well, hi guys, and welcome to a product review on my channel. And today we are going to look at some weathering products from Ammo by Mick Jimenez. As you can see, we have the dry and wet earth tracks weathering sets, as well as the first eight sets for basic pigments and basic washes. I bought these myself rather recently because I felt that I needed to well upgrade my weathering and upgrade the tools that I use for weathering because some of the washes and pigments that I had lying around were rather old and did not achieve the results that I had hoped for them to achieve so I went out and upgraded. I bought these four sets because I wanted to well both compare the dry and wet earth tracks as well as get some basic pigments and basic washes in that you can always use for building armor kits. There are of course other wash sets out there for example for aircraft modelers because I would not advise you to get those if you want to build aircraft. So we're going to look inside those four sets and are going to focus on each of these sets individual. I will not be using the products in this video, but I will be using the Tri-Earth track set in, in the next video for my Panther video series for the Dustwerk Panther. So if you want to see this entire set used to see how the step-by-step -step comes along, I would advise you to, to look at that video once it's up and, and see how that works out. And then maybe down the line I will be using the, the wet earth track set on something that's in a more damp situation. For example, somewhere in the Ardennes or something like this. But for now, let's take a look at each of these sets individually. Alright, let's start with the first eight basic pigments set. And as you can see, this comes with five bottles of pigment. Gunmetal, Rubble, Europe Earth, Dark Earth, and Track Rust. Let's start out with the Track Rust. As you can see, this is a rather darkish brown red color. And I uh, c came to the conclusion that these uh, ammo pigments are very, very, very thin and very, very. It, Compared to, for example, the old MIG production pigments, I think these are a lot finer than the old MIG production ones. The Dark Earth pigment has a rich brown color, very comparable to the old MIG production Dark Earth pigments that I've been using so far. Europe Earth, in contrast, is a very light brown tone, almost beige-ish. As you can see, it's a very fine pigment, and I like the fact that these are very fine because that allows you to blend them a lot easier than if they were coarse. And again, the Europe, uh, the rubble is very similar to the Europe Earth. It's just a bit less, less yellowish, more brownish, but a very light color. Here's the the code if you want the codes for the. To make coats, and then we have the gunmetal pigment, and this is a metallic pigment that you can use, for example, on on edges along long metal edges that get worn out, or maybe even on tracks for the the raised surface detail on tracks that gets polished by the ground. So yeah, gunmetal pigment. Overall, I think you can't go wrong with having these pigments in your line of pigments if you use pigments for weathering. Of course you can achieve this with for example pastels and, and other ways of making your own pigments but I'm a lazy git. I always decide to go with with products like these and I'm happy that stuff like this exists that you don't have to like sort through the entire line of pigments to to get all of the pigments that you need and just have one like it's a first aid set so it's for beginners if you're a professional modeler or a very experienced modeler I don't think you would go with with the first aid basic pigments set unless you have to restock your pigment shelf so overall I think for a beginner perfectly fine 
let's move on to the next set. Alright, next up we have the first eight basic washes set. And if you look at the labels, you can already see that this set not only contains enamel washes, but also a bottle of streaking effects as well as a bottle of nature effects. I don't really know why that is the case, because I would expect in the basic washes set to only have washes, and maybe, and I think that would be a nice touch here, so ammo if you listen for some weird reason, which I don't think, maybe have a small bottle of white spirit in there, so you can blend the washes. I think that would be a very nice touch in a set like this, especially for a beginner. Because if you look at the, the depiction there on the back, on the box, it's a pin wash that is being applied, but you cannot leave a pin wash like that. You have to clean it up. So having a bottle of white spirit in there would be really, really helpful, I think, for beginners. So instead of like a Kursk soil nature effects, I would think adding a bottle of white spirit would be so much better. But we have a Trax wash, which is something that I think every beginner should have. A way to just make your tracks you look rusty and used and old and when I started modeling that's the first product that I got I painted the tracks in, in a brownish color and then I just laid on the track wash and then my tracks were basically done of course you can then upgrade and add pigments and, and, and all of that stuff and splatter and, and, and things like that and I will be talking about that in a second but for beginners a track wash perfectly fine a light rust wash also to just highlight, for example, rusty rusty bolts on your tank, maybe even rust up the exhaust, and just have some, some rust stains over chips, for example. You can go with the light rust wash, blend it in, just make it look faint. You can also make rust streaks, I guess, with this, so I think this is also a very nice product for beginners. Then we have a dark wash. When I start modeling, that was the first bottle of wash, other than the track wash that I got, because the first thing I did was make a splash wash of every model that I built. I just took the bottle of dark wash, back then it was from MIG Productions, or maybe even 501st of Tylum, and I just slashed it onto the model and just like flooded the entire model with it. That was the first wash I ever used, and there are still people out there that use this technique, just wash the entire thing. But you can also use the dark wash for a nice pin wash on almost every paint job. Of course there are nuances and of course there are washes for specific paint jobs. But I don't think you can go wrong with a dark wash. So I think that's a very nice product to have in here. Then we have a streaking grime. Yes, I have used streaking grimes before. I'm not the biggest fan. I think you can do just as well with normal oil paints, but yes, if they think having a streaking gram for some streaks in there is a good start for beginners, okay. When I was a beginner, I didn't grasp the concept of the streaking gram. I always made it look weird. So I wouldn't have included that either, just like the cursed soil next to it. Like I said, maybe include a lighter wash or maybe a filter, a basic filter, and then a bottle of white spirit. So, those two, not a big fan. The others, yeah, basic washes for everyone that I think you should have when you start out. So, mixed feelings about this because of those two bottles. So, you, like, two out of five I would not have in here. But then again, who am I to, to, to speak up? These are designed by Mick Jimenez. But, like I said, I think for a beginner, those two are not necessary. You could have something else in here. So, let's move on to the fancy track ones. All right, let's start out with the dry earth tracks weathering set. And as you can see, this comes with acrylic paints, as well as some splash mediums, as well as some pigments and a bottle of wash. So you get something out of almost every category of weathering tool that there is. Let's start out with the paint because this is probably the first layer that you put on and you get a nice rusted tracks paint. I think this is from the new range because I've never seen this label. Um, and apparently it's brushable and airbrushable. And like I said, I will be airbrushing this in the, the Panther build series. So if you want to see this entire set and this paint used, let's ch uh, check out the 
next episode that will probably come up in a week or two on the Panther. So make co uh, color code is 0034 rust tracks. So that's a nice thing because normally when, when you start out modeling, you're always looking for a proper color to paint your tracks in. Because some people use lighter gr uh, brown, some pe people use darker brown, some people go with black or anthracite, so I think having, having this paint is a nice starting point. Of course you don't have to use it, but I think if you want to achieve the look that's on the box, I think you should go with this. Then you have a polished metal paint, metallic, acrylic, I think this is, is this airbrushable? For brushes or airbrush, okay number 0192 and this again is for the polished areas of the track where the ground actually removes all the primer and all the paint from the tracks a nice touch of course you can you, you can use almost every metallic paint I don't know if you need needs to have this specific paint but yes once you've painted the track with the the rust color you of course again use track wash so now I've bought two bottles of track wash basically but I always use this stuff I've always used it for my track so we'll be still be using this so this is not a problem to have two bottles but yes if you buy this you don't need to like you have two bottles of track wash if you also buy the other one a wash for every beginner that wants to weather and, and model tracks and then we have some pigment since this is the Tri Earth or Dusty Earth um, track set, you get North Africa dust, a pigment, very fine again, as you can see, very fine pigment. And you can then use this pigment to either staple it on or brush it on and just have it sit in all the, the re recess areas. And then when you really want to go over the top, you can use this dry step splashes medium density mud and just splash it on and create nice splashed mud and dust effects on your tracks. I've never used this kind of product, so I'm really looking forward to using this on the Panther tracks and you can, you can watch this and watch me probably embarrass myself using this for the first time. So this is the dry earth track set. Like I said, not sure about the metal paint, but we'll see about that. Other than that, if you want to have the starting point, and all that we are looking at today are starting points, you can always upgrade, you can always get other stuff to add to this, you can leave stuff out that you would have in this set, replace it with other things. This is just a starting point. If you have nothing and you want to get, like, something to start from this might be a good idea for you we will be talking about the price point after I've shown you the next set alright and last but not least we have the wet earth tracks weathering set and again this contains both acrylic paints enamel washes pigments and some mud products and I think this is actually a better set than the dry earth ones uh, one because this gives you I don't know some some more to play with but let's take a look first we have a dark tracks as an acrylic paint this is a darker brown color a lot darker than the the rust tracks that we had in the dry earth tracks weathering set 0035 I like the fact that these come with a stirring ball because that way your paints will always be nicely mixed if you shake them well. And again, this might be the base color that you paint your tracks with. After that, you don't get a a track wash this time around, but you get a light rust wash to ac accentuate some of the the rusted areas on your track. And then you get gunmetal pigment. This time around, it's pigment, not a an acrylic paint to highlight the raised detail that gets polished by the ground and then we have two two mud products first we have wet mud a heavy mud product and this is a very thick paste as you can see very thick doesn't move much in a bottle 
and I hope that this actually creates some texture, yes. Enamel mop with realistic varied texture ready to use. So I'm really looking forward to using this down the road. I've never used the ammo mud products. I've used mud products from Wilder Productions. I've used them from AK. But this would be the first time around using the, the one from ammo. And then we have another one of these splashes. Medium density. This time it's loose ground. And I really have the hope, because when you look at the picture, there's some grass in there, that this actually does contain some grass. Like crushed grass. If it doesn't, you can always use static grass to add to it. So, this is the Wet Earth Tracks weathering set. So, let's go back and we'll quickly talk about price point. If I would recommend you guys getting these. And just let's sum up the entire video. So, be right back. Alright guys, now that we've looked at all four of these weathering sets, let me quickly tell you what the overall price point for these is. The pigment and washes first aid sell at roughly 18 euros each, whereas the dry earth tracks sells for roughly 15 euros and the wet earth tracks for roughly 17 euros plus minus. So do I think that these are worth it? On three of them I think yes. I think the basic pigments and both the track sets are perfectly worth it. I'm not a big fan of the washer set because, like I said, you do need to go out and buy Whitesbird or Odorless Turpentine because otherwise you cannot blend them. I am not a big fan of the Streaking Grime and I'm not a big fan of the Kursk Soil, especially for beginners. With regards to is it worth it to buy them? Yes, but only if you are a beginner. If you're an expert or an advanced level modeler, you will already have these things in your paint collection, in your weathering collection. You will not have to go out and buy these. I just bought them because I am too lazy. It is tough for me to go to a modeling shop in person right now, even without Corona because of distance to travel, because I moved and now I live a lot further away from the modeling stores that I would get supplies off in the future, in the past. So I have to order them online and I'm lazy, I admit it. And I didn't want to browse through all of the washes and, and, and pigments and, and weathering pages. And I just thought, well, let's get those basic sets we can do a review, I can talk about them quickly, and then I can use them. Which I'm probably going to do. And you will see me use the Tri Earth Tracks set rather soon. So, overall, I think three of the four get a thumbs up. One of the four, I recommend you get the Tracks Wash, the Light Rust Wash, and the Dark Wash individually. And do not buy this, because I don't think it's worth it because of the Streaking Ram and the Kursk Soil. The other three, perfectly fine. So the one with the green plus is the only one that gets a red thumbs down from me. The other three, if you need them, go buy them if you're a beginner modeler. I hope that you guys like this kind of video, looking at these products, comparing them to each other. And I hope you will tune in to me using the Tri-Earth Trax Wash on the Panther soon. Till then. May the force be with you. I'll see you guys around. This has been Hollywood Modeling. Bye for now.